What's going on guys? How are you? You get to see the tracker today completely gutted, exposed, all of its secrets revealed. We're going down to the troubleshooting, figuring out the wire situation, why the boat caught on fire to begin with. All of this coming up right now. Hit the like button if you want to see this boat trend and to help the word get out. I really appreciate your help. Thank you much. Check us out. Just for curiosity's sake. Oh. oh man, it was foam. Oh, look how it's all deteriorated. Who's seen that? Dead. Dead foam. Dead poor foam. Yeah. Over time, maybe not the best thing. Like, if you're going to have a poor foam in your boat, that thing needs to be garaged. So it lasts. I think high heat just disintegrates it. And then this guy lives in Yuma, the beaver team. Tristan, Tristan, you might need to put this thing under shade in the summer. You gotta figure that out. Great. Oh man, it's all in there. Man, they just let that stuff go, huh? All right. Okay. I think having the foam is so badly deteriorated and weak that I can just pull it off the wires. After so many of these, you shouldn't be surprised, but I am thoroughly surprised that there was enough foam in that thing to really fill those two up and dent that one, so. And I still have another side to do. So now we look at the root of the problem, the reason this boat is even here. Some of this is just... Is that this is all melted together. Like, pulling the actual cluster together, it's just like one big melted wire cluster. I mean, even the, the electrical tape that they used to wrap it is, mel is melted. What I would like to do is find out where these wires actually are going. Well, that's cool. Hey, that... Okay, so some of this actually survived. Let's get rid of the non-essential wires here. Okay, so what I would like to do is leave these hydraulic lines, separate this cluster of shit from the said hydraulic lines. So let's gonna pull this over this way. Turn over here. Is there non-essential wiring for the pumps? What the hell is this? Oh, it just gets better. So I, have a, I have a distinct feeling that these... Yep. Okay. These are running all the way into the motor. start the starter. That's the battery cluster that essentially went very quickly I may add. If I can get a set of fairly clean fibers a little bit farther down the line I can just splice these wires and save them. These red wires can come out. Ooh, that's not good either. Oh these were I think these were the bilge wires so these can go. And that doesn't even work. Here I figured it out. I got it in my head now finally. Well we have four major parts. We have the we have the actual controls going into here. And we have the main power cable which is responsible for starting the motor which only has slight burns and variations here so we can deal with this. And this is the cluster that goes to the trim. And this has been spliced every not every which way down here. The wiring is not so bad now. We got we really just not bad at all. We'll get it all done. It's fine. It's just a matter of splicing and replacing wire. Yeah, it's just only wire. 
Begins again. And I think I found the method. If you cut initial thing, it just helps it come out in chunks. <clears throat> just found this out. So I'm okay with that. During this process, I felt like I might be removing poor foam forever. All of it was done. Like none of it survived. All the way down to the bottom. It was all Dunsky. And to top it off, the more you dug in down deep, the, the heavier it was, the more sagger it was. So that, we're talking about Porphyrm that was just holding water forever. Making his boat heavier, harder to plane, offsetting the weight, the balance. All those things were happening to this boat because this stuff just went. Like none of it survived. There was like a slight little bit of it in the beer, very front that survived and that was it. After taking that off and getting the cell floor up and getting one of the panels off to see what it was like, I took off the front deck, which was an inch thick piece of uh, treated plywood. And the screws were so messed up in there that like I couldn't even unscrew them. I had to take it off of the grinder and then pry this thing up. That was fun, but it was easy. It was only held on by those screws, nothing else held on the deck. like extra wire in here for like no reason. Has anybody ever seen that before where there's just it's just weirdness to me. I'm sure that a good reason. I mean that's a very very safe cable. It's never going to overheat. So getting this thing was a chore, but what you can't see is what we're going to do to it. The cool thing is that most of it's already framed. And all I have to do is just attach other additional stuff and just prep it up, throw it all back. And because it's a flat bottom, it's super easy to convert. So I don't really suspect this taking near as long as my other build to do. No thoughts? Consensus? What do you think I should do? Uh, hit the comment section down below if something you'd like to see added in the boat. Because right now, when it's just open, exposed, and gutted, anything could happen right now. I have an idea of what I want to do. Tristan has an idea of what he wants to do. Right now, I'm going to be getting into the foaming process. That has to happen before anything else. So that will be the next video. How we choose to foam the boat now. Because we saw what happened when they chose to foam the boat with poor foam. And what happens to poor foam in Arizona under like extreme temperatures with a boat that's not garaged. So, you know, that makes me wonder, like, what happens to all the older bass boats who are just like exposed and what the foam looks like inside those glass boats. Like if it would even do them a service now. I continue to like question uh, poor foam's necessity in aluminum boats because of what we just saw, even though I have put it in other boat builds and I have it in my uh, Yacht Killer here, soon to be coming also. But I plan to document everything about this build, like everything you see, the whole process. Like it's gonna be like legit, a very, very slow time lapse spread over 10 videos. However many videos it needs to be is how many videos it's gonna take, but we will document the entire process, leave nothing out, you will see everything. All right, thank you guys much. I appreciate everything you do. Check out the links below in the description area. Click on that little word section and the whole thing will pop up right down there. Thank you much. For the next video, peace.